Hey everybody, this is Mazzy at 616 here with another video for you today. And today we are opening the Innistrad Midnight Hunt pre-release kit. Now this is after the actual release of Midnight Hunt. But I figured it's always fun to open up pre-release packs and see what you get. I am much more looking forward to Crimson Val coming out in November. Uh, I'm more of a vampire player than a werewolf player. But I couldn't resist the urge to open up something new for you guys. Uh, and see what all we got. Plus, pre-release kits are always fun to open. One of these days, I'll do a sealed thing where I actually open this up and go play a tournament or something. If that's something you guys would want to watch me do, definitely let me know and I'll video it. All right, so in the pre-release kit, one, it's actually sealed very well. So let's see if we can actually open it. You get a nice white life counter. I love the counters. It's one of my favorite things. All right, you get your, I think it's still six packs. Let's see. Let's pull these out. Yes, you get six draft booster packs because you do play sealed. Let's see who we get for our... Uh, we won't do the promo just yet. You do get this nice card divider. Definitely going to use that to help uh, organize everything I got. See if there's anything else. All right. We will now do Lear, Disciple of the Drowned. But this is... Yep, and it's marked right there. Ooh, that's a cool mark. 2021. All right, let's see what's in here real quick. And then we'll go through the packs. I have not looked at any of the prices for cards in this set. I'm basically going for pretty. There we go. Disciple of the Drowned. You have a day token to let you know whenever it's day. And a couple of ones in case you get some werewolves to flip. All right. So we will sleeve up that Lear Disciple of the Drowned. It is our promo pre-release card. It does look really good with that 2021. That foil on it's not bad. Not my favorite. We'll set it off to the side. We have six packs of Midnight Hunt. Let's see what we get. All right. So if we were making a deck, they said the werewolves were the best, of course, because it's what it's based on. But what all would we get? Let me know in the comments below. We'll basically go off the first pack. Blade Brand, Tapping at the Windows. Ah, bringing back some memories. Stormrider Spirit. Gavany Silversmith, Festival Crasher, Shadow Beast Sighting, Morning Patrol, which is a human soldier, which, uh, oop, Disturb Vigilance, you flip it, and it is an Apparition Spirit Soldier. All right, that's not bad. How do you get it to flip? Disturb 3, Vigilance. I'm not sure how you get those to flip. Necrosynthesis, Thermo Alchemist. All right, and our rare is Galvanic Iteration. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And you can flash it back from your graveyard. That's not bad. All right. Oh, that is pretty. I forgot. Oh, Commander. Another one of those. Look at that island. Oh my goodness, you guys know how I am about land cards. That is gothic horror at its best. Alrighty then, this is going to be a good opening. I forgot that every land was a full art that you pulled in a pack. Which is odd that the... Uh... Oh, that's where I'm looking for. The bundles don't do the full arts. Yes, I do have a bundle. That will be a video for later on this week, maybe next week. I'm not sure when these videos are going out in order. I haven't quite set that up yet. But should be pretty good. All right, we have a Duress, Might of the Old Ways, Crossroads Candle Guide, Flip the Switch, Morocco Behemoth, Candlelit Cavalry, Search Party Captain. Are we getting any werewolves? I don't really see any. That's a Harrier as I get a wolf, but not a werewolf. Locked in the Cemetery, Shady Traveler. I like that art. It's a human werewolf. Oh, what's it going to look like when you flip it? Oh, Stalking Predator. Nice. So I'm guessing it has a day bound and a night bound. That, that's going off in the hit list. I think that is gorgeous. Borrow Time. Devoted Graft Keeper. So this one transforms too. We're going to go ahead and spoil the rare because it's the next one. Let's see what we get. Champion of the Perished. It's a zombie, which is interesting. This is the flip side of that. It's a soul keeper. We put into you have to exile it instead. Uh, I don't know how. Oh, from your graveyard, transform for its disturb cost. 
oh, so that's cool. So this has to die first. And then you can cast it from the graveyard. Or you can put it in your graveyard from uh, discarding things. That's actually really cool. We have a Champion of the Parish. Not bad. Oh, yes. Oh, we have a Swamp. What do we have behind that? Just mid-draft archetypes, stuff like that. I would just be pulling the land cards. Look at that. Ah, so pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and sleeve up that Champion of the Perished. It's weird that it's a zombie. Let's see what the flavor text says. He rose from the graft for every cobbler, tanner, and fool who had been slaughtered in the parish. And they rose and shambled after him. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus... Oh, that could be fun in Commander. Sorry I keep talking about Commander. I'm thinking about making a Commander deck and going to my local game store and just getting absolutely wrecked. Because we know that's what's going to happen. I have next to no chance. Because I haven't played Commander in 10 years. But it'll still be fun. Soul Guide Griff. The Hippogriff Spirit. Interesting. Consider. Siege Zombie. Plummet. Destroy target creature with flying. That's definitely a good one. Falcon Wrath Perforator. There we go. Get me some vampire. Secrets of the key. Gaboni Trapper. Ha ha ha. Valeri Valdarin Stinger. I cannot speak today. First strike as long as it's attacking. Nice. Hobbling Zombie with Death Touch. Bake Hook, bake, bait hook Angler Hook Hunt Drifter. Da 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 da. English is really hard. Scob Wrangler. Tap three untap creatures you control. Tap target creature. Kind of a really expensive thing. Unless you can do it at flash speed, in which case you can do it during your opponent's turn. Blade Stitched Scob, another zombie. And we got Vengeful Strangler because I am one too early. All right, we'll ruin the rare. Oh, Lisa Forgotten Archangel. Full art gothic style. Nice. This turns into a strangling grass, but I hate to say it, but who cares? And then we got the island afterwards and the usual night daytime thing. Let's sleeve this baby up. Oh my goodness. This looks incredible. And it's my colors. Oh, legendary creature angel. Depending on what she does, this might be my commander. Flying lifelink whenever another non-token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. This is very tempting. You could end up exiling half your opponent's graveyard. Just by using a board wipe. Sorry about that. Lace of Forgotten Archangel. Definitely a hit. All right. We got three packs to go, it looks like. We already got... That is a gorgeous card. And it's Island Swamp. I have to say, I am loving these artworks. Bat Whisper. We're going to pick it up a bit. Snarling Wolf. Flare of the Faith, Artifact Creature Scarecrow, Otherworldly Gaze, Candle Trap, Elementalist, Dawn Heart Revenar, Tireless Hauler, Hungry for More, Create a 3-1 Black and Red Vampire Creature Token with Trample Lifeling. Wow! But you gotta uh, exile it. Not bad. Lunar Frenzy, Burly Breaker, Human Werewolf, Ward and Daybound. Nice. Flip it over. Demolisher, and this is a full art land card desert. Enter the battlefield tap, let's control two or more other lands. That's awesome. Then you get the forest. What's this? Uh, Darn Heart, Dawn Heart Rejuvenator Foil. Not bad. But look at these two lands. One, as always, we now have a forest, an island, and a swamp. That is gorgeous. But we got a deserted beach, which is white and blue. So Plains and Island, not something I would normally play. It's just not my forte, but that looks absolutely amazing. All right, two packs to go. Two packs to go. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. Uh, oh, it's wanting to be difficult. This must have a good one in it. Come on. I don't know if so I doubt Soren's in this set. He would probably be in Crimson Vow if I had to take it, yes. Like I said, I haven't looked at the... Uh, set list or anything yet probably should before i open these but i'm just kind of exploring everything with you guys candle grove witch nice once again setting that aside because i love the way those borders and everything look oregon hoarder tavern ruffian yeah that's somebody you don't want to mess with tavern smasher 
Not down six five. What do you get a six five for? Just four mana? Nice. All right. Morbid opportunist. Unnatural moonrise. Wait. It becomes night until end of turn. To a player, draw. Nice. It helps you turn into night later. Oh, Tovalar, the Midnight Scourge Werewolf. And he is, looks like he's permanently nightbound. We got planes there. Tovor, Dire Overlord. Oh, this is nice. And it's the full art and all the crazy. We're going to set this down. I'm sure there's more to it. But right now, I just want to. Oh, man, these are so pretty. I know it seems weird. But really, I mean, just look at this artwork. Now I've got to decide whether or not I'm going to build a werewolf deck. This is just making my life so much harder. Whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus X plus seven against trample on this side. Draw a card. If you control three or more wolves, it becomes night. Then transform any number of human. Wow. So if you control three or more wolves and or werewolves, it automatically becomes night. So you can get a wolf werewolf deck, get three wolves out, no issue. Have Tovalar be your commander. He comes out, immediately transforms to a werewolf. And, oh, that is a good strategy. All right, let's see if we can't finish up this pack real quick. All right. We got a Plains, which now I think we've actually completed the set. Swamp Island Plains. Nope, we need a mountain. And we got a Covert Cup Purse for the foil, which flips into a Covenant Geist after it dies. Not bad. All right, guys, last pack. Can we get a Mythic? I haven't even thought about that. I've been so excited just pulling the cards. We're pulling that. I didn't realize. I mean, at six, we should get at least one, right? I mean, you've got to think about it. you got to get at least one Mythic in six packs. Maybe it's eight. But you know what? We're generally above ratio here. All right, let's get this in focus and finish up. Bounding Wolf. There you go. Throw it in the deck for Tovalar. I'm telling you, it's looking better and better. Less Defiance. It's a zombie horror. This thing's trying to focus on everything but this. Bring it back this way. Rotten Reunion. Another wolf. Gains death touch until end of turn. Evolving Wilds. Not a bad card. We got a Homestead Courage. Stolen Vitality. Defenestrate. Destroy target creature without flying. Not bad. Lunark Veteran. Come on, we're getting close. Dualcraft Trainer. Sacred Fire. That's actually kind of nice. That's a really expensive flashback just for two damage. But I guess late game, you can't play anything, play it. Ambitious Farmhand. Sure, it comes back as uh, reveal it, put into your card. Transform. Activate only if you control three or more creatures with different powers. So they all have to have the Coven ability, I would presume. I've got to look into that. And then we have... Barbridge Tracker. Not bad. All right. Let's leave it up here in just a second. And another swamp. So we did not get a mountain in the new art style. But we did get the other four lands. And that just looks pretty. All right. Then let me sleeve up the Barbridge Tracker. All nice and pretty in the sleeve. And then this is what all we got in our pack. Barbridge Trekker, a beautiful Tovalar the Midnight Scourge, Deserted Beach Full Art, Alessa Forgotten Archangel, which would be awesome to put those two in a commander deck against each other, Champion of the Perished, a Shady Tracker because it looks cool, Galvanic Iteration, and we got Lyra Disciple of the Drowned as our promo card so that's all for the video today guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you could please like subscribe you know comment on the channel share it on social media we're trying to get 200 subscribers that's my goal uh at 100 subscribers we're going to open some insane stuff i'll probably open a box of the latest big thing like uh, modern horizons 2 something like that which reminds me i do have a modern horizons 2 fat pack coming in here sometime soon so as soon as that gets here we'll video it We'll upload it. We'll have a great time. Magic Mondays will return. I just have to finish the script. I'm feeling kind of distant from the Magic Mondays. So we're going to work from there. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Once again, please like, subscribe. Mm -hmm.